Hey everybody, it's Kevin. I'm reaching way out there. Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props and welcome to a new video. Today's video, we're going to be looking at how I built this awesome uh, Eye of Agamotto from Doctor Strange. I have been wanting to put this thing together for a long time. Super excited about this. Let's take a look. Okay, so here are the raw prints right off of the El Gumars, the printer I am loving right now. And you do have to clean them up a bit. I'm just going to snip off some of the little uh, supports that are there. And you can see how there's little bumps on the sides. So it's nothing like the cleanup involved in a, a standard filament print. But you still need to go at it with a little bit of sandpaper. That's a 150. And then, um, again, flattening that bottom out since that applies. And then I'm going to do a little bit of wet sand. So for this print, since it was pretty smooth, I did a 150, a 250, and then a 600 wet scan. Uh, wet scan? No, wet sand. And what that does is it takes care of any sand lines that are present that you might have with those rougher grit sandpapers. And again, I just sort of put some water on my... <laughs> Uh, cutting board there and uh, use that 600 and it just gets glass smooth it is pretty awesome and there it is primed up I do use the Tamiya uh, fine primer the links below for that I love this stuff it just it doesn't get cloggy it doesn't get rid of detail and then I hit it with some gold now this is way too gold this is just cheap gold spray paint uh, I, I got at uh, Lowe's and now it's time for the fun part to weather this guy up and this is just cheap basics uh, paint, uh, uh, acrylic paint uh, with uh, some water in it so it's not straight paint. And then I can sort of just wipe it off and it stays in the cracks and crevices. And I went ahead and did that on everything around the sides. And now I'm going to do it to the stuff in the center. So th this is always a fun part. It's, you know, you make this thing, make it look really great and shiny and everything. And then you, you put black paint all over it or brown paint all over it. But this is what really makes the thing come alive, makes it look authentic, makes it look like it's been used. So you want to have all the sort of gunk, the dirt in the cracks and wipe it off the top. If you've gone too far and you wipe too much off, go ahead and hit it with some more paint. If you haven't put enough paint, just go ahead and add more paint. Now, I wanted to sort of pick up some shine in places. So I used a gold rub and buff and I'm just sort of gently, gently sort of wiping it across certain areas high areas because those would be the shiniest uh, and you can see how it sort of just kicks that shine up a little bit and gets rid of some of that black paint you know the, the dullness that the black paint put in just so like if someone was handling this their hands would wear through the grime and uh, you would have that nice shine and now we're going to go ahead and put the the um, covers on uh, Eyelids, maybe let's call them that since this is the eye of Agamato. So I just pop those in. Uh, be careful if you print this with SLA. I did break a set. And this is a little piece that opens and closes it. I did not use it for this, but we'll see what I did use later in the video. So I went ahead to work on the gem, and this is one of those vacuum chambers that sucks all the bubbles out of your resin. And I was super happy with it. I wanted a nice clear crystal and this really did the trick you could see there are some bubbles in there but man when it cured it looked you'll see in a second it looked pretty darn good now i'm pouring from on high and there we go i have now sort of glued it in the back and uh, that's how this guy's looking and to keep everything together i used a clamp and now it's time to work on the necklace part and i bought a bunch of things and i ended up really just using this gold uh, twine uh, and not any of those sort of uh, clips and things and for the for the metal I'm literally just winding and winding it around and I'm not using any glue now for the cord stuff You did need glue because this stuff isn't sort of uh, a, a cable which is biting into it So I hit it with a little bit of glue then I hit it with the uh, Accelerator to stop it and now I'm just winding it around and yes, this was very boring and then I add some more glue to the strip here to the necklace so it would hold it on and I glued myself to this necklace 57 times uh, it was painful and there we go so again all that's all that twine 
and then I just kept winding, winding, winding. Now I'll add a little glue to the holes there and sort of wiggle it around so it all gets glued up and boom. And then we put it in the next one and it is in. Now here's the base. I went ahead and I printed up the Broken Nerds base and I wired in a simple tiny green LED and decided it needed a bottom. So I cut a little piece of foam out here glued it to the bottom, added just a little coin slot that the on off switch can sort of easily slide in and out of. And that was it. So here is the back that I designed. Again, I'm not going to use that standard back because I'm just going to have it open all the time. So I designed this Infusion 360 and the lighting system is different than I planned to. It's just a little cell battery with two pieces of metal cut out and it's all wired up. Simple switch and the LED is really just hot glued to the bottom of that switch. You put the battery off to the side and bang, you just pop that on. You can turn it on there and there it is. And super, super happy with this. I love Doctor Strange. I've collected the, his comics for a long time and I was just so pleased to be able to put this thing together. Uh, it, this is one of those projects where you have problems. Uh, that back switch didn't work. I decided I'm going to make my own. I'm going to go a different way with it. And I could not be happier with how it turned out. Well, all right, there it is, the Eye of Agamotto. That's how I put that sucker together. Of course, printed on the Elgu Mars. I love that thing. Affiliate links below if you're interested in picking one up. The Pro is out. I'm looking at picking one of those up and see how it compares to the original. Uh, I, you can't go wrong with this thing. I love this printer. Uh, the files for this are also below, uh, from the original to a bunch of mixes that I used, including my mix, which is the new back, and of course the link to the base. There's also a link to the video uh, that I saw about how uh, how some the first person I'm blanking on his name. I apologize, but it is in the link below. How the first person made this switch. I modded it a lot but it's a link to that switch and how he put it together if you want to go that route with it. Last things last, I've also got a Etsy shop that I put together where I am selling files that I've been modeling and I've been having other people that I know model. And that is over on uh, Etsy.com slash 3D printed parts stuff. 3D printer parts was taken. The link is below for that. And I'm also going to start selling some of my prints on there pretty soon. So take a look at that. Probably won't be this, but I do have some prints that I am going to be getting rid of for space reasons. And you'll be able to find those over there. So take a look over on Etsy, do a search for 3D printed props stuff, or just of course click on the link below. And again, if you like this video, go ahead and click like, subscribe hit that little bell and this way you'll get a message when new videos are coming out. And as you can see, new videos have been coming out. Today is the day I'm actually just editing and editing videos and I'm probably gonna put uh, and schedule probably five videos today. So really, really excited about that. Well guys, I wanna thank you for watching. I really had a great time putting this together. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.